Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of EETV where we strive to bring you everything in entertainment. And what can I say? After five years in development, Trigun has finally reached Crunchyroll so we can all watch it. And we're going to start off with the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's start off with the good. The character, the, the new character designs for the characters we see so far, for Vash, for Roberto, for... Uh, Meryl, uh, look good. They, they look really good. Uh, nice updates on all of them. Uh, I like the new design of Vash's glasses, uh, uh, his coat. Um, I like uh, Meryl Stripes, her, her design and her uh, update. And uh, I like Roberto, I like his uh, design. You know, showing him being a gruff reporter, and they all still have their kind of futuristic, but uh, very much westernized theme to keep on with the the basis with the original material with the manga. Let's move on to the next part. Uh, the changes that have taken place. The changes were obvious. If you were like anybody, like around my age bracket, you were able to check out the first adaptation of Trigun back in the 90s before we read the manga and uh, we can see some changes in this uh, first of all what is the most noticeable change that uh, Meryl Strife is not an insurance agent she is a reporter and instead of her being teamed up with Millie we have her teamed up with Roberto. Um, so far, so good. Uh, I like Roberto's character. You know, he's shown he, he's that gruff veteran that have seen some things and he's trying to, you know, show the new person in, in the game, the ropes. Also what we've seen so far, this different, the pacing. I don't know if you've noticed, but the pacing was stop and go stop and go stop and go and then some parts the pacing was just fine cruising along great and then the other pant and the other parts the pacing was like jerky and then it's like somebody just stepped on the gas and then boom then and you go on with the rest of the pacing to get through the rest of the episode what the pacing reminded me of is back in the day where we had um remember when power rangers were going through all those new renditions like right after uh the last episode of mighty morphin when we got into zeo and we got into turbo and then we got into in space and all those episodes in, in lost galaxy you know how the first episodes were like all right this is what the main five rangers are doing this is how they get their powers and hurry up and get through the stuff so we can see them transform and then the rest of the episodes were just like of a slower pace it's just like the first one was blasted out there to keep everybody's attention and that's what i felt with this i felt that the pacing of try the first episode of trigun stampede was like when when they showed the seed ship in the beginning the pacing for that was fine then when you when you cut off to roberto in merrill then it was like jerky 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 and, and then when they first meet vash it kind of slows out a little bit and then it just jerks again and then when they get back to that first, when they go back to the town, it seems like it jerks back and forth when they have that that small little skirmish with the military police. And then when Vash stays the day with that one bullet, you know, using the rock to scatter all the pieces to stop that uh, that scatter bomb, you know, kind of evened out there. And then it kind of like that's when it kind of stepped on the gas, and then it kind of evened out. That's what I've seen so far with this. And it's like, oh my goodness. I hope the rest of it is not like this. Because the CGI animation for this is pretty good. And I like how they show the desert planet. I forget the name of the desert planet. It's been like five years since I watched Trigun for the third time. So you have to forgive me for that. And it's like, so far, so good. So far, so good with the character designs, with the environment. I am just hoping that this does not get messed up because it'd be a shame to have all that nice updated character design, all that nice updated environment, only for this new brand spanking shiny new anime to end up being a lemon and just falling flat on his face. 
So, yeah, the pacing for the first episode was off, and you know, you, we've seen some changes. And by the by the the poster that was released, we see that my favorite character, Nicholas D. Wolfwood, will be joining the group pretty soon. I, I say we'll see him by by my estimation. I think we'll see him by the second episode. It, it's starting off lighthearted, but then again, the original Trigun, first anime ad- adaptation, was really lighthearted until the point where Vash forcibly killed Legato Blue Summers because Meryl and Millie was about to were about to be harmed. That's when it got dark, and then of course, you know, you know, Nicholas D. Wolfwood's death and everything else to follow after. I think they'll follow the same pacing and hoping so, because you know, it starts off lighthearted. I can definitely see and get it, it more gritty from there. Uh, but this, I say, if you compare, I know it's only been one, it's only been one episode, but if you compare the first at the '90s adaptation Vash to this Vash, this Vash. Now I'm only, I'm only comparing like the first episode with the first episode because that's what we've seen so far. If I, if I do any more than that, that that's unfair. So if you look at the first episode of the '90s Trigun, and then you find the second episode. I mean, the first episode of the 90s Trigun, and then you have the first episode of Trigun Stampede. Trigun Stampede Vash is just a little tiny bit more silly and absent-minded. Uh, the, the, the Vash from the 90s, he was silly and absent-minded, but he still had a sharp wit about him that you could tell in the first episode. This one, like, he's, he's really, they're really playing it up with him being, a, like, you know, him being a dunderhead but he's really not and he can figure out certain situations but so far so good you know it, it, i guess it's some of the uh some of the text i read in the subtitles that made him seem more silly than the 90s adaptation but like we'll see we'll take it from there but like i said the worst thing about this it was just the pacing the other worst thing was what the heck was knives wearing when he was playing at oregon i mean it looked like a a a a, a robe and then the robe looked like an amalgamation of different species of jellyfish that's what it looked like to me the character design for flash i'll just say this before i end this episode with this new design of flat uh vash i like the design of his prosthetic arm because it looks like a metallic futuristic skeleton and how the arm just looks like like the the, the skeleton if you look at the skeleton of a forearm it looks the arm is similar to that and i like that uh the only problem i have about it even though it looks cool is it kind of gives away the mystery because those of us who watched the 90s adaptation um we didn't realize that vash's arm was a prosthetic until we got to a certain point in the anime and uh then in the other point then we didn't realize then that was his second gun as well but I guess since this is the second adaptation, they're going for something different. So I can completely understand that. But I do like the design of his prosthetic arm and how it looks like a skeleton. I think that's pretty cool. I like how they have his uh, his first gun and how it looks. And I can't wait to see what the angel arms are going to look like when we finally get to that. And I want to see, I, I want to say that, you know, since... Meryl was so gun ho and I want to save, save the world and, you know and, and Roberto's there to kind of even her out I could see this anime getting dark and Roberto trying to calm her down like look this is just how the world is kid and you've been isolated and I, I'm going to really teach you how the way the world but I also do I do hope that if she doesn't come in and be a staple like she was in the 90s anime millie hope millie makes a appearance at least or a can more than just a cameo i would like to see her in there but that's all i got for this one tell me what you think in the description like share and subscribe if you feel like it. i'll see you in the next one take care everybody